There are some really interesting changes taking place in the gravel bike market, and as the discipline grows, we're expecting that to continue. From super slack adventure bikes to whip fast racers, here are five brilliant bikes that we're looking forward to riding in 2023. We'll kick off our selection with the new Specialized Diverge STR, which gets a brand new bouncer at the back end. The Diverge STR has much in common with the 2021 Diverge, sharing the same Future Shock 2.0 system in the head tube, 47mm tyre clearance on 700c wheels, and the down tube SWAT storage compartment. But since the American brand gave its Crux cyclocross bike space for 47mm tyres, the Diverge needed more than just 20mm of travel up front to make it definitively adventure gravel. Step up the Future Shock rear, which is apparently tailored to counteract the small bumps and impacts one can expect when riding gravel. This, Specialized says, enables you to remain seated over bumps to retain traction and power. While the bike is an adventure machine, Specialized Pro Ian Boswell told me that he'll be using it in the majority of his 2023 races. He said that the Future Shock rear could help to reduce fatigue in longer events, giving him more of a kick at the finish. Forgive us for focusing on that back end, but the geometry, tyre clearance and front suspension haven't actually changed, so there's not a lot else to talk about. What we're really interested in here is how the Diverge STR will go down with those that actually splash the cash. If the comments are anything to go by, it'll be a mixed bag. One bike that we simply cannot wait to review in 2023 is the Factor Ostro Gravel. This aero racer is a gravel superbike and takes some key design cues from the Ostro Vam road race bike that we absolutely adored. The frame's tube shapes have been aero optimized to make the bike as competitive as possible at races such as Unbound. Factor says that the Ostro Gravel uses a blend of Techstream, Torre and Nippon Graphite carbon fibers, a blend that, according to the brand, balances lightweight with a strengthened layup for gravel riding. Paired with the Factor Ostro's wide stance fork, the head tube is particularly striking and, along with the cockpit, contributes to a claimed 9 watt drag reduction at the front end of the bike. In terms of mounts, there's the option for a bento box on the top tube, as well as mounts on the underside of the down tube near the bottom bracket junction for a third bottle or tool keg. But that's it. If you want to fit luggage, you'll have to strap on some bags. Tire clearance here is 45mm, which is likely to be plenty for the well-graded gravel that this bike is designed for. But would this be the aero gravel racer for you? Let me know in the comments. Despite being launched in March of 2022, we start 2023 still waiting to swing a leg over the Ridley Kanzo adventure for a proper review. Ridley says that it started from scratch, developing a white paper on what an adventure gravel bike should actually be. From the looks of the progressive geometry and big tyre clearance for 2.1 inch mountain bike tyres on 700c wheels, we'd say that they've been rather bold. In fact, Ridley says that the Kanzo Adventure's carbon frame took inspiration from mountain bike geometry. You get a head tube angle that is one degree slacker than the Kanzo Fast Race Bike for extra stability on rough terrain and steep downhills. They then match this with a longer wheelbase and lower bottom bracket drop for balanced handling. The head tube is kept short for less interference when using a suspension fork. That's quite clever. With the massive tyre clearance and slack geometry, this is one that we can't wait to test out on some chunky UK gravel. The Caius is a minimalist, lightweight and aerodynamically optimised gravel race bike, very much in the vein of specialised S-Work Crux or Cervelo's Aspero 5. The Caius takes clear inspiration from BMC's road race bike, the Team Machine SLR01 sharing a visually similar head tube, oversized down tube, and angular dropped seat stays. While we've seen some gravel bikes coming with space for really chunky tires, the Caius can fit a more average 44mm tire. That's still not bad though. And then there's a host of features that you'd expect to find on a modern gravel racer. On the top tube, you'll find mounting points for a bento box, giving you sweet, sweet snack storage. 
There's compatibility with 1x and 2x drivetrains. You can fit a dropper post and you can even fit BMC's ICS MTT suspension stem for 20 millimeters of bounce. Really though, the thing that we love about this bike is how clean BMC has made it. Just look at that front end. And then they've even bonded the through axle insert in place, covering the drive side hole for pure aesthetic gains. Our range topping $12,000 bike weighs in at 7.7 .7 kilos with zip wheels and a SRAM Red ETAP Access Explore group set. The Rondo Milk, let us know in the comments, is a dropper post compatible downcountry gravel bike that looks like it would be an absolute hoot to ride. The new machine draws inspiration from modern mountain bike design, with geometry geared towards offering maximum stability and comfort on gnarly terrain. Rondo says that the milk is pitched primarily towards explorers and those looking for a complete off-road experience. The measure of this is Rondo's claim that the milk is easier to ride on steeper and rockier descents. The milk has high and low geometry settings thanks to a variable twin tip front axle. Putting this into the high position pushes the front wheel marginally forward, further relaxing the handling. With the top tube kink, we're getting some serious Canyon cyclocross bike vibes. But is this a bike that you like the look of? Let us know in the comments below. I've certainly got my favourite bike, but which one do you want to see on the channel in 2023? Now if you like a load of gravel content, then why not watch this video, and we'll see you in the next one.